sheet, now it looks like it. Right? We don't want that. That would be bad news. Okay? So, keep the natural S shape of the spine. Next, we're going to keep that chest up nice and high, eyes straight ahead. Okay? And as we squat, we're going to raise our hands. So I'm going to have Sheree hold her hands over her head right now. And here's the beginning of the, mo the movement, the execution of this movement. We're going to start with the line of action. Hips are going to move back and down. Good. Now, as she squats, she's keeping her knees right on top of her feet. Understand? Okay? And again, that line of action, this is going wrong. Back and, or back, step down. You've seen that, right? Creating that shelf that you put like a soda can on. Stand back up. Instead of that, we want a constant line of action down at a constant angle. Okay? Tracking the knees right on top of the feet. Notice that her crease of the hip is well below the knee. Put a marble on her, the top of her knee right here, which way would it roll? Towards the hip. Okay, stand. So the idea is that you shouldn't have to get out a protractor or a ruler to figure out if you go into depth or not. <coughs> Make it evident, okay? A lot of people get caught up in, oh, that's plenty low enough. That's plenty low enough. You know, if you guys have seen people like that, don't, don't let them do that. It's over squat it, okay? That range of motion is great. As long as they can maintain that spine and hip, all good. Okay? And now, let's watch a couple more reps. Good. Tight, 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 tight. Good. And stand. Good. So <clears throat> that's basically our air squat. Okay? We root ourselves in the heels the whole time. We'll see somebody roll up out of their toes when we got an issue. We're going to walk talk about that in just a second here. Um, but does anybody have any questions about the setup of the execution? Yes. 